And then Allah will order Israfil to come back to life. Mikael, Jibreel, and the angels that hold up the throne of Allah. And he will order Israfil to blow again in the trumpet to start the day of judgment. But listen carefully, because something happens at that moment. Allah sends Jibreel and Mikael with the keys of Jannah to open the grave of one person. So they come down on a special mission. They open the grave of the Prophet in Medina. They open his grave. The Prophet asks, what is today? What's happening? And Jibreel says, today is the day of judgment. Brothers and sisters, the next word to come out of the mouth of the Prophet is, what about my ummah? SubhanAllah, he's asking about us. He didn't ask about his wife, not his daughter, not his son. He didn't ask about his family. He didn't ask about himself. He asked about us. Because he knows that we will need him that day. What about my ummah? What's going to happen to them? Brothers and sisters, do you love the Prophet because he loves you. Wallahi, he loves you. On a side note, it's just a, it's a beautiful hadith. It just comes to my head right now and I have to share it. He was sitting with his friends one day and he says, I really miss my beloved ones. And the companions are like, Ya Rasulullah, we're right here. I mean, we're sitting with you. You don't really have to miss us. I mean, we're right here. And he says, no, 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 you're my friends. But I miss my beloved ones. And they ask, who, who are your beloved? I mean, we thought, you know, we were your beloved ones. And he says, no, these will be people that will come after me, who have never seen me, that believe in me. We are. We are his beloved ones, sallallahu alayhi wa Is he beloved to us? as we are to him. Because at that day, brothers and sisters, he will ask about you. Jibreel will give him the, the keys to paradise and the day of judgment starts.